To create some dynamic images with SketchUp, all we need to do is change some of the default settings. So under the Window menu, we can go to Styles and go to the Edit tab. By clicking this middle button, we can uncheck this skybox and click this box next to Background to change the background from green to white. Now all we need to do is go to the Mix tab and from this drop down menu select Sketchy Edges and there is a plethora of um, pen styles to choose from. I've looked through and found a couple that I like, like this uh, m permanent marker fine and a couple other um, were, were nice, like a pencil with uh, end points. So I'm going to drag that up into the edge settings and now it'll be displayed up in here and you can see it's a little heavy-handed so I'm gonna try and see what the permanent marker fine would look like instead that's a little less heavy so I'm gonna go ahead with that but customize it a little bit more by going back to the edit tab and clicking this wire frame now under color where it says all same I'm gonna select by material and now all the colors the lines are colored associated with the pad, the texture that they're on. So now to create a more appealing image, I'm going to lighten up this horizon line of the hillside behind this house. So to do that, I'm going to go to Window and go to the Fog menu and display the fog. I've already adjusted the slider bars just enough so that it lightens up that horizon line. So now all I've left to do is turn on shadows and I've adjusted this so that it's a November morning where the shadows are broadcasting uh, across the front porch and it, as you can see I've adjusted it to display some nice patterns from this railing across the front here and the trees are stretching up towards the house and it just has an overall nice composition uh, to the image. So. I could export this as a JPEG and um, just under the options, instead of using the view size, I'm going to select 4,000 pixels. And it's, um, as you can see, if I enter this in, the aspect ratio is locked. So you just need to enter in for at least 4,000 pixels to get a high, real high resolution image. Um, so you can export that and use it um, to display any way you need. So I hope that shows you some of the abilities that uh, just using the S SketchUp styles can do. There's a lot there to check out, so um, take some time. You can even make your own uh, marker styles. So um, if you want to see more videos, don't forget to like and subscribe.